Okay, so yesterday, um, with the help of my cousin, I cut out the floor of the boat, did it in one piece of um, eight by four, nine mil marine plywood. And um, to strengthen it even more, we put not, uh, 12 mil plywood struts going across, and that will be absolutely solid. So we're at the stage now where it's time to uh, think about fiberglassing. And I went over to a company called Anglia Composites in Suffolk yesterday, and um, just by Woodbridge, and proper old school company. Um, two gentlemen over there spent about 45 minutes to an hour with me discussing um, all things fiberglass, the products, the health and safety bits, the actual methodology of doing the fiberglassing, and I feel completely comfortable and confident in what I'm doing now. So I've got 25 litres of resin, I bought 15 square metres of 420 or 460 gram fiberglass matting, with, which is this. Um, well, this, is, this is not the, the entire bit, but this is part of it. And I'm going to cut out for a little um, demonstration. And I got um, some organic peroxide, which is the nasty stuff, which is the hardener or the catalyst for the resin. I thought it would be useful to uh, just go through the process um, that we discussed yesterday, and then that is going to be how I mat out the deck of the, the boat. And um, I'll take some photos of that process, but to be honest, dealing with um, these sorts of chemicals and bits, I'm not going to be wanting to film too much. Um, however, I've sealed the floor using the resin and catalyst mix, um, so we'll go from there. I'm just going to pretend that this is the deck of my boat. It's a, it's a slight, well, it's, I think this is 12 mil. Um, plywood so it's and uh, this is just a, an offcut I've had in the shed to be honest so I don't, I'm not sure if it's marine or not but this is the process I'll be going through. I've been mixing that, you start to really smell it now. Now the gas given off by this um, is styrene, which is heavier than air. So if it's, you're in an enclosed area, make sure that you've got breathing stuff on, breathing apparatus, it shouldn't do you any harm, but I'm not gonna give you much more health and safety advice than that. I'm in a nice ventilated place, um, and obviously there's a lot of space for the styrene to go before it affects me. Right, I've been stirring for um, about three or four minutes now. It's starting to thicken up a bit. Um, I've got about 20 to 25 minutes working time with this now. And whenever I'm given a time like that, panic starts to set in. Although, even though I've got a very small section like this to do. So first off, I need to wet the wood. So I'm just gonna get a small paintbrush. Okay, if you let it dry in between sealing it and fiberglassing it, you'll have to rough it up again with a bit of uh, rough sandpaper. And that is to take the wax layer off the top. Because when it dries, the wax goes to the surface and uh, you, it won't have a, as good adhesive bond with the wood and the fiberglass that you're going to lay. So, still wet, the wax hasn't settled. So I can lay my bit of fiberglass over the top you still move it round, you can still peel it back off if I wanted to. Okay, replace it. Make sure you got it in the right place. And then it's a case of wetting it over the top.
I think when I do my deck, the art's gonna be getting it as flat as possible. Because the flatter I get it, the less I'll have to sand or, or cut afterwards in before I flow coat it. So the deck is going to look like this. I'll put another layer on shortly. The deck's gonna look like this, and then I'm gonna use a product called Flow Coat, and I'm gonna flow coat over the top of it, and you won't see any of the glassing. Um, it will just be, um, I've gone for a dark gray color because that's what there was before. And if you're doing, going to do this on your boat deck, if you do it nice and evenly and spread it around and um, you should just be able to flow coat over the top of it without too much, too much else um, to do on there, to be honest. I mean, that's going to give quite a, quite a flat, quite a good finish. So to flow coat on that, that will come up looking absolutely brilliant. Obviously this bit and around here, I haven't done it, but if you look in the center bit, if you can get it all done like that, you're laughing. Now here we are, moved Alaska down to my mate's yard. We've got the, the Venga boys playing in the background and we, uh, we're gonna give the, the fiberglassing a go. Lovely dry day um, and we've got a workshop that we can get it in if we need to. But there's the floor, there's the top side of the floor. Obviously it's backwards in the boat just for transportation um, and gonna have a big clean up to start off with. I'm gonna start off by uh, getting Henry out, giving, giving a good going over with Henry, um, picking up all the bigger bits then gonna wipe down with these, but these will leave a chemical on there. And um, after that, gonna be going over it with some acetone, um, with some tack wipes and things to pick up the bigger bits. Then it's gonna be a case of, as I've just shown you um, in, in my, my shed, gonna mix up the compound, uh, the organic, the, the peroxide with the resin, got all different parts of that, and resin stirs, things like that. Go up gloves, eye protection. Um, and then I've got a couple of, well, a lot of those children's play balls that will be eat for closed cell um, buoyancy and been recommended those by a strange amount of people actually. A lot of people are using these. Um, then putting it on, I'll be using fluffy rollers, roller handle and cutting out sections um, to about the size that I want to do. I'm not going to go too big and do try and do too much in one go. I'm just going to try and do um, maybe a metre squared, maybe not even that much at a time. Um, and then I'm going to give the, while well, that's all drying and setting, I'm going to give the trailer a service as well, which is going to be another video I'm going to make. Oh, Henry's been busy, just gave it the first, first hoover, but now I'm just going to give it a wipe. So it just shows you the, the difference in how much is still going to get left on there. Really important this is clean, if not there's absolutely pointless fiberglassing it. It's got to be clean, it's got to be dry, if not the fiberglass won't bond. And then you're, you're not doing a permanent replacement, you're doing a nice temporary one that might last you six months. And you'll find yourself here doing it all again. I have wet wiped and now I'm just going to show you the effectiveness of acetone. So throw a bit on, I think I've got all the safety gear on by the way. I'm not messing around with anything because my vision is worth more than a boat floor. Look how quickly that evaporates off and you're left with a nice clean marked up surface that you'll be able to fight grass to, I hope. But now I've got to go do it with the whole boat. A bit of a treat, I've, uh, the sun's come out, everything's going very well. Got the rear lockers in and I've got the, the two, the stringers here. I'm going to mark them with a pencil across and lengthways and I'm going to pilot hole and I'm going to put in some nice long screws so the floor is nice and secure all the way across then it's just a case of fiberglassing all the way around it 
um, smartening up, neatening up, and uh, I'll show you some photos of, of afterwards. Well, finished off the floor um, to the point where everything's been glassed in. Gonna let it put it back inside for the evening into the workshop so it can fully dry out. But all done. Thought about the water channels that come out of there. One running down that side, one running down that there, so there'll be no pools of water anywhere. And then it's gonna be a job of flow coating it. So, thank you very much, and uh, hope that's been helpful for you. I'll see you again.